Oh my gosh. I actually, I didn't, I don't really, I could care less. I'm so used to it. You know, when you become a, 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 a public figure, I guess, if, yeah. since I don't consider myself a celebrity, when you become yourself, when you become a public figure, or when you put yourself out on the internet every day, you have to have thick skin. That's true. That's true. You don't like I don't mind. No. Because you have to be put in a situation where, you know, not everyone's going to like you, not everyone's going to love you, and people are going to criticize you. Because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I do the same way, too. If there's a celebrity I don't like, I'm going to say, oh, this celebrity, this or that. So, it's just a, a, the nature of the beast. So, what are you doing now? So, right now, I'm using the pink eraser bit, and I'm removing the shiny gel that she has on. I'm also being really careful just to see if there's any lifting or anything like that. But, actually, she has pretty much no lifting at all. Oh, that's pretty good to keep it up. We cleaned out all those cute cows. Hi. But I mean, it's also, that lady was just really uncalled for. We're going to do a fill using press on gel and we're going to Easter these phalanges out. Yes, indeed. Lovers in the house, dancing away, yeah. Hey, Lucy Frank. Up and down it. that pole. <laughs> Have you been to Baltimore, Barbara? Yes. Is that a nice city? You know what? I actually had a good time. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had really good clients that took me out to nice places, a nice place for dinner, and then to this club for drinks. And we got a ball. Really? Yeah. I was shocked. I was actually surprised. How far is it from DC? Um, I don't know. It's, it's not that far, is it? Hours? I don't know. I, I never thought about it. I don't know. What's the famous food in Baltimore? Isn't it crab? I think seafood, maybe. You know, you got, you got, uh, you got. And, you know, you got clam. Yeah, or seafood. I eat seafood. But anytime I'm on the East Coast, I'm eating seafood. So. Oh, clam chowder? <laughs> okay, here's a hard one for you. New England clam chowder or San Francisco clam chowder? Oh, come on. There's no comparison as far as I'm concerned. You gotta get the real clam chowder from New England. Really? More than the one from the pier out in San Francisco? Yeah. You go to the pier in San Francisco, which I've been to just only for the time. And, um... You know, you're on a first name basis out there, don't they, Bob? A couple places. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um... And so you get the clam chowder, and it's really, really good. And it, it's the white, not the red. I don't, I don't like the red. What's red clam chowder? I've never heard of that one. Well, Enlighten me. It's, um... Is it spicy? It might be Boston or something. I don't know. Something. But anyway, it's, um, it's red color. Yeah. Yeah. Is it spicy? No, no. Oh. It's just red color. I think they use tomato Oh, never mind. Anyway. Um, but the clam chowder, it depends on where you go. If you're at Pier 39 and you eat there, their clam chowder is so delicious. You just want to eat clam chowder and nothing else. <laughs> you know, you that is the meal. That, you don't even care if they bring the rest of the food, okay? But, um, yeah, but anytime I'm on the East Coast, Northeast, you know, from Maine on down, you know, through uh, Maryland, through uh, Virginia, mm -hmm. I'm having seafood. Ooh, some Rockefeller oysters. Surf and surf. They're like, just give me the surf. Just give me the surf. Yes. Manhattan. <laughs> Manhattan. Manhattan. I've never had Manhattan clam chowder. I didn't know they made a red one, though. That sounds really interesting. Oh, so remember how I was telling you about 
Oh, green oranges. Mm -hmm. So it turns out also that all the, like um, Fruit Loops are all the same flavor. Yeah, they are. I didn't know that. That blew my mind. So did you ever eat them as a kid? Yes, of course. Did you think that they were different flavors? Yes. You did. I yeah, did. It's not flavor. It's all the same. It's all the same flavor. Like I guess it's like a fruity flavor, but the way the mind thinks is that you know it's, it sees a it's color green. and it tastes. Apple ear or something. And the, and the yellow you thought was banana or something. Mm -hmm. So, so. And so star, what, what are those candies? Skittles are also, they're all the same flavor. Skittles. Yeah, they are. Did you know that, Ignacio? Skittles, Skittles are all the same flavor. And all the M&M's were the same flavors until mm -hmm. they started changing. Oh yeah, now they have tons of different flavored M&M's. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had... They're all chocolate. But there are some people who like the, only the red ones. Some people who like the brown ones. Oh, those are some people, people with like probably have OCD or something. Like my kids. Yes. <laughs> but they're all the same. Except for now they make... You know the caramel and the are pretty good though. I do like that. Or the... Or the, um, the brownie m ms are really good too. I think I have some here. I'll, I'll look for some. Has poor Lena had lunch yet too? I'm worried about her. I want her to pass out tomorrow. Lena, did you eat already? I was like, I didn't see her go get lunch or um go have lunch. She was like, she's gonna pass out. Poor Lena. Hello, you gorgeous. Oh, I love peeps. Is that true about the the peep soda? Oh, what? That Pepsi did a, a peep flavored soda. Oh, I don't know, did they? I saw that and I was like, is this real? Oh, I would have bought it in a heartbeat. Do you like peeps? Oh, I love peeps. My son loves peeps. Really? I him this big box of peeps. I went all around town getting all the flavors, except for this year, I could not find the mystery peeps. What's that? The mystery flavored peeps. What color they're, is it? They're white. They had them last year, and the year before, and the year before that. This year, no mystery flavored peeps. Hey, did anybody find any mystery flavored peeps? Let me know. <laughs> so I'm using the Russian manicure job that we're really going in and clean, clean, clean. Yeah, the best and tricks. <laughs> tricks are for kids. Yeah, they're all the same flavor. Oh, um, Oreos does do like crazy flavors or once yeah, in a while. Yeah, they started um, last year. No, mm. three years ago. I remember they the, had the watermelon flavored Oreo. Oh my god, I have to look all over to find that. That you know tasted weird. It? Where? Target? At, at Target? Yes, that's why I found it. And then I've seen S'mores Oreo. That seems a little bit more kosher. But like a, I had a taste of watermelon one. And how were they? Did you like it? I didn't like it. I thought it tasted kind of like like lip balm. It like, didn't have enough watermelon flavor. It didn't and, have the real watermelon flavor. And watermelon and chocolate to me don't mix. But it was the vanilla ones. It wasn't in the chocolate. It was in the vanilla. Really? The one I had was... One. It was in I the... Mean, the you know, the light colored ones, the light tan ones. It wasn't in the chocolate ones. Really? It was what I found. And then I've seen birthday cake Oreos too. And I've seen s'mores, birthday cake, um, I think like a pumpkin spice flavor. Oh, okay. Delaware couldn't find the mystery peach either. Maybe they I didn't do it this year. I want the Lady Gaga limited edition Oreo. What I've never those? seen that one. I haven't seen that. And snip, snip, snip. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Another thumb. Pop tart got turned. But are they all different flavors or are they just really the same in different packaging? 
And Pop Tarts are really high in calorie too. They're literally a meal replacement. They're really for kids to eat. On the go. I've never had that one. Oh, I know the original flavor for Oreo was lemon. Yeah. So now I'm going to use the diamond moon bit and go in and etch the nail. Go around the cuticle area, get her nice and smooth. Somebody loves the coconut oil. Oh, Lucy Frank said pizza pop. Pizza pop, that's very Canadian. And craft dinner. Take it to the sonyas. Hi. What do they call Chicago then? Chi Town? Uh, a lot of places. A lot of people do. Or what's another uh, name for Chicago? The Big Seat. No, the Windy City. The Windy City, that's right. <laughs> One coat of nail prep, and we're going to do one coat of primer. So the nail prep balances the pH and it dehydrates the nail, and primer is what makes it stick. And remember, one coat of each. So now we're going to go in with you already know. Uh, so you need to get that nail bit. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Love it. We're going to use, of course, the bottom chick, Miss Press On Gel in pink. And we're going to do two coats. The first one is thin and it's going to go all over the phalange. Kind of like our base. Oh, that's so sweet. Has it been a while since you've been back to um, Chicago, Barbara? It has. It's been too long. When was the last time? Two years ago. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's the old people. Oh, well, Chicago hot dog sounds good, too. Oh, my gosh. There are so many good places to get a hot dog. A good hot dog. A good Chicago, I a have good to admit, Chicago hot dog. I like, be a Chicago hot dog. I like a Chicago hot dog more than I like a New York hot dog. New York dog. Me too. Because a New York dog doesn't have anything. It's just bread out of a bag, <laughs> the frank and mustard. Mm. Mm, like where's every, where are the condiments? Yeah. You get a, you get a New York hot, I mean a Chicago dog. Bright green relish on it. You've got the, you know. Slice of tomato. Got the onion, tomato, a slice of a pickle, a cucumber, you know. It's, it's laid out. Poppy seed bun. Yes. Must, must be a poppy seed bun. No ketchup. Polish sauce. Ooh, Polish sauce is good too. Like a bratwurst? I love a bit Polish. No, Polish. So does it have a grilled onion on it too? Yeah, or sauerkraut. I'm not you a sauerkraut get, person. You can get them with whatever you want on your Polish. You can go to Maxwell Street in Chicago. That is the place to eat. I told you to go to Maxwell Street. I don't remember if I did or not. 
or the pizza. What was the one? Well, I told you to go to Uno's. Yes, and Pizza Uno's all over the country now. It's a franchise, but it's not. We had it in um, Florida. Yeah, no. Did you like the Chicago style pizza, Lena? So now we're going to do the second coat of pink press on gel. And this coat is going to be a little bit thicker and we're really going to focus on filling in the gap. Ooh, a Philly cheese. Ooh, I love a Philly cheesesteak. Oh, I've had them too. Oh Where they're across goodness. the street from each other, the two famous ones. Oh my God, they're so good. Mm, I love Polish dogs. Only had New York style. Oh, Bobby Garcia only had New York style. Well, you get a Polish from Maxwell Street. If you ever go to Chicago, go to Maxwell Street. Although it's relocated, the food is still the same as it was back in the 60s. You know, it's good, good food. But you go to Maxwell Street and you get yourself a Polish. You go to Maxwell Street, you get yourself a, uh, a pork chop sandwich. What's that? Pork chop sandwich. That sounds really good. It is so good. You go to Maxwell Street, you even want to get yourself a burger. Because they only make them that way on Maxwell Street. What's um, the best place for a uh, hot dog in Chicago? On Maxwell Street? Oh, is that the name of the restaurant, Maxwell Street? No. It's a, it's a place on Maxwell Street. No, that's the best place for Polish. I would say um, Jude and... Uh, Frank's on River Road is uh, the best place for a hot dog. It's on River Road. And the food in Chinatown too is pretty good too. I can I can testify to eating in. Oh yeah, Chinatown in Chicago. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Some of these so line of rush. I can't remember, but we went to a few of them and it was pretty good. It's a small Chinatown. I can't remember. I I could give you a list of places. But I went to the ones that didn't have menus in English. They have what? Didn't have menus in English. Oh. That's how you know it's authentic. Well, any of those places in Chinatown or Korea, I think they've been there a long time. And they've been, um, you know, in the family passed on. And the bakeries in Chinatown are so good, too. Oh, Me out on porch with Chrissy on Facebook. <laughs> on porch? What's that? Antonio, please don't advertise this stuff. This is about Mexico. Oh. <laughs> Carrie Gates. Yes, I used to live by the two steak, uh, two cheese steak places in Philly. Yes. Yeah. I have a picture of me in front of them, I think. Okay, what's the famous sandwich that you eat in Cincinnati? In Cincinnati? In Cincinnati. Uh, a hoagie? No. A hero? No. Somebody tell me. Somebody put it out on here. Uh, I want a Philly cheese. Somebody said, I want a Philly cheese steak now. I know. Bobby, I understand. I'm hungry. The what struggle is real. This Let's is too much. bake that for one minute. That's the final layer. What's the sandwich in now? Uh, Cincinnati called. You know, in Cincinnati. A poor boy? No. Do I need to Google it? Yeah, Google it. Let me find Google. A poor boy is in uh, Nolens. Nolens? Oh yeah, I have 500,000 phones, you guys. Let's see. Something with chili. Yeah, it is something with chili. You're right, Michelle. A chili... A chili cheese steak, it might be. A chili cheese sandwich or something like that in Cincinnati. How can I forget? And I used to go there almost every other week. No, so it's not a Reuben. It's not a po' boy. God, I almost want to call my friend. He lives in Cincinnati. <laughs> Cincinnati chili, Raiders ice cream, La Rosa pizza. It's a 
chili. I guess it's chili. Maybe it's a chili cheesesteak. No, it's not a cheesesteak. It's a chili cheese sandwich. I don't know. No, I can't remember. Uh, chili cheese, though. Uh, from Delaware, all the beaches have Fletcher's fries. Ooh. What's that? I don't know. Get some. Now, I've been to Delaware, but I've never been to the beach. And now, yeah, it's too good for now. I'm so <laughs> hungry. Come tacos in Vegas. Ooh, no. That's, no, that's yeah. all for Lucy. Those are Lucy's. Yeah, she, yeah, I can't eat that. So, to can wipe off the sticky that. layer, <laughs> chili we're going to use our hand sanitizer. That's what it's called, chili cheese. From Skyline Chili. Yes, Misty, you're absolutely right. Chili cheese dog? From Skyline Chili, yes. What about a Frito pie? I think that's from New Mexico originally. Is that? Mm hmm. Do you like uh, Frito pies, Barbara? I don't think I ever had it. I think it's like really Frito Lay chips and. Uh... <laughs> Mary, I wish I could fix something to eat. I'm so hungry. In the warehouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for food? Next. Me? Mm. Today for lunch, I'm going to have Peruvian shrimp. Really? Yes, but it's diet though too, so it's not like it's going to be really good or anything. Mm. You know, Peruvian food is some of the best food. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. There was this Peruvian... I don't know about the guinea pig, but... Uh, well... There was this Peruvian restaurant that was like, it was on, um, it was in the 6200 block of Broadway in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Just across Broadway and Granville. And this Peruvian restaurant was the best food. Oh my goodness, everything. All these authentic dishes, they were so good. We go in there and the chef would, you know, we just tell the chef, just send us whatever you want to send us. Whatever's fresh. <laughs> whatever you want to make for us tonight, just make it and we'll enjoy it, you know. Always enjoyed everything at that restaurant. It was and such Peruvian food has a lot of Japanese influence too because there's so many Japanese people living down Peru there. Uh, Peruvian food has... Uh, French influence. Really? A lot of sauces. A lot of sauces. A lot of sauces. And their corn too. Their ceviche. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Mariah's having turkey burgers for dinner. Mmm. She's eating right now. Mariah, where are you? Are you East Coast? Because you're three hours ahead of us. So we're going to go in with the seven piece drill bit set. We're going to use the smooth top barrel that comes in the set to begin the snatching of the phalanges. So just really gently because you don't have to really and take so down too much. Yeah. Just, smoothing it out. just smoothing it out pretty much. So at a low speed is more than enough. It's more than suitable. Oh, she lives in Rhode Island. Yeah, she's in coast. So it's dinner time out yes, there. Dinner time. Oh, Antonio loves schnitzel. We should have an amazing uh, little mom pop German restaurant, and the food is amazing. Hmm. Do you like German chocolate, Barbara? I do. <laughs> One of my favorite cakes is actually a German chocolate cake. I don't really know if it's German. If, it's called German chocolate cake here, but I don't really know if it's German. Like Boston cream pie, isn't it the same thing as Bavari Bavarian cream pie? I don't know. I don't know, because I don't know what a Bavarian cream pie is, but... What about a Boston cream pie? Yeah, okay, so lots of things. Oh, have you ever heard of the Madonna Inn in California? They have a pink champagne cream pie cake yeah. at the Madonna Inn in California. Because I guess there's a, a 
Ooh. a Danish colony out there, or there was. Okay, Mary said Patillo's cake is the best. Ooh. Ooh. I love to go to Patillo's for um, um, Italian beef. And I actually have some olive oil for, imported from Italy that Gucci sent me last year as a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. So good too. And it's so light, you can, you know, not only cook with it, but on your salad dressing, just a little bit of it. Just a little bit. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Favorite dessert, cream brulee. Ooh. Cream brulee. Burnt yes. cream. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Can you crack that? Oh, it's it's beautiful. Good. Let's do the inside now. This bit is also from the seven piece pink drill bit set. Keep her nice and fresh on the inside. Mm -hmm. You have to try their chocolate cake. Ooh, mm. we'll do. Now, I love a good um, Italian beef sandwich. What are those called? Italian beef. Oh. Do you like pastrami? I do. Pastrami is, uh, isn't it like originally like a Jewish food too? I don't, I don't know per se if it is per se, but I, I would say um, I know Jewish people eat it. Or is it oh, the, okay. the pastrami on rye, right? Yeah. Somebody said, I love crates with avocado toast. Oh, yes. Although I can eat avocado toast. Avocado toast, that's very California. Ooh, I'm talking food. Huh. Oh, I'm making me so hungry. <laughs> Poor Barbara, her insides are eating each other. Yes, indeed. The big intestine ate the small intestine. Uh -oh, somebody wants something. Oh, Milford, Delaware has a shop called My Sister's Fault. It's two girls and they got the best pastry shop. Wow! Milford, Delaware. Not a place uh, I've been. You know what other kind of sandwich you like? I like Monte Cristo. Uh-oh. Lucy Frank said, got the new products. You gotta go upload. Ooh, Let she's busy. Go. Snatch them up from Canada before they're gone. Do you like a Monte Cristo sandwich, Barbara? You know, I do. I love Monte Cristo sandwich. Do you really? God, yes. They're so fattening, though. But they're yeah, so they're good. So Disney makes the best Monte Cristos. When we go to Disneyland, what? I will Disney? take you. Uh, Monte Cristos on me at Disneyland. Really? So good. World famous at Disneyland in New Orleans Square. In Nolan Square in Disneyland, next oh. to Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? Yes. Monte Cristo sandwiches and um, beignets. Oh, I love beignets. I tell you, what, what, you know, being in New Orleans and you're at a restaurant and they have beignets, they just come and give you the beignets. Really? You don't order the beignets. It comes with so, a meal. Yeah, restaurants, and while you're waiting, they come along with a beignet. It's just hot, it's fresh, it's, oh my gosh. It's the devil, that's what um, it is. It's the best thing, and you're just sitting there, and they bring the beignets, and, oh, yeah. And, and I'm like, oh, come on, Can I have another one, please? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Make sure that inside is really nice and smooth, so that way there's no snaggle raggle. What's the time now out there? Here it's 153 and out there. Here it's gonna be five to five. So now we're gonna hit that nail with a coat of base gel, just to make sure it's nice and even, and seamlessness. So a nice little layer of base gel. Over the entire phalange. And this is just going to give us a really perfectly smooth canvas for the colors. 
And the colors that we're using today are one coat full coverage gels from Fun Gel. So they are Snatch. Even just like that, they look really pretty too, don't they? Mm -hmm. It's like a very natural, like a milk bath glitter. <laughs> That's an interesting description. Or oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's more pinky. Strawberry milk. Are you a coffee drinker, Barbara? I am, but I can't drink it now. Only in the morning, or you can't drink it at all? I can't drink it anymore. Really? What about decaf? Mm, I can't drink any coffee. Really? What about teas? Yeah. Decaf or regular tea? Decaf. We're gonna bake that 30 seconds. Well, I didn't know you can have coffee. Mm -hmm. I like me some coffee. What's your favorite? I actually, before, um, I like fufu coffees. Mm -hmm. But now, in the morning, I actually just have black coffee with um, sugar, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. With brown sugar? Brown sugar tastes so sweet. What? Black coffee or brown sugar? One scoop of brown sugar. Really? Mm hmm. Every day in the morning. That's how. That's what gets Max going. That and Fentamine. <laughs> 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 but I have lost uh, roughly about 12 or 13 pounds so far. So, but you exercise too. No, what's that? Okay. We don't say those words around here, Barbara. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just. <I forgot. laughs> Those are the, we rebuke those words in the name of the Lord. <laughs> so Barbara wants one phalange orange. So okay. do you want them all different colors on this hand then? Yeah, all okay. different colors. And I want the lavender on my thumb. Okay. So we'll do this one, or do you want your middle finger orange? We'll do this one orange. Yeah. So that way when you point. Yeah. Just the idea of working out makes me tired. Think about it. Oh. But you know, that'll make you all toned. I know. Ah, but that's what doctors are for. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one coat coverage, children. It's so special. So this one will be blue. Ah, gracias. Que amable. We'll do this one pink. They call me mellow yellow. That's right. What do they actually say? That's right. What's the word? They call me now yellow. I can't remember. Something. I don't know if I want to call up the word. This color is literally like pure candy bliss. I know. It is. Isn't it? Such a Barbie color. Yeah, it is. What numbers are they? Oh, good question. Thank you for pointing that out. So these are all fun gel from the new One Coat Coverage colors. So the pink one is 133 from Supergirl. The teal is 134 from Supergirl. The orange is 128 from Supergirl. The yellow is 126 also from Supergirl. I 
Isn't it like the pigment? Well, actually, I love all the colors. The pigment in this it's is just so, so sick. Yeah, it is. And super smooth and creamy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had cookie butter, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Cookie butter? Mm -hmm. From Trader Joe's? Mm -hmm. I have a jar back here if you want some. Mm -hmm. Because Sherry was here and we were talking about it. And she was like, well, I'm going to go buy some on Monday and I'll bring you guys some. Because mm -hmm. the girls hadn't tried it. And she did. Mm. So now we have this big old jar of cookie butter. Oh. Now you are going to find those... Uh... You said you had some M&M's or Oreos or something? Oh yeah, the, um, what do you call those? Brownie M&M's. Yeah, the brownie M&M's. So, so good. good. Hey, what happened? What happened? That lavender. Mm -hmm. Let's bake this for 30 seconds. Touched the top and it went away. Here it is. She's back. So we're gonna add a little bit of glitter, and the glitter we'll be using today is BB Ombre 67. You think that's mm hmm Just 30 seconds. This glitter is so adorbs. What's the purple? The lavender is 131. Can they buy your products in the Netherlands? No, you can buy your products in the Netherlands. Yes, you can order them. We ship all over the world. So it's only through your through here. Yes, through the website. Yeah. We don't have a distributor anymore in Europe. So it's all direct. Oh, look at that, it looks like candy, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. A little bit more glitter here. You can never have enough glitter, huh, Barbara? Hey, I'm serious. See, I learned that from you, Max. The bad habits. <laughs> there you go, never beautiful. Never enough green, never enough glitter. Let's bake Ooh, that. One minute, all the way inside the Dazzling Darling Lab. And I will, let me see if I can find that candle. What's your Valentine's Day this year? Really? So now we're going to finish with a coat of shiny. Of glitter. I did two coats of top coat. Really? You sure? I don't think so.
Not candy. Who sang that song? Cameo, right? Yeah. Candy. She knows. That's the same feeling I always seem to get around, y'all. <laughs> Cause you pass on nightmare. <laughs> he had a really weird voice, though, didn't he? Yeah. This one needs a little bit more glitter, actually. I don't think it went into the lamp all the way, but all we do is just go back in and reapply. Yeah, it did need more glitter, didn't it? Yes, it did. But the other ones were fine. So we're gonna freeze it for about 30 seconds. Oh no, leave your hand there and I'm just gonna push it. Push it in. Make sure it's nice and all the way in. Nice and cozy. Okay. So is your sister gonna pick you up, Barb? No. No? I don't think I'm gonna really? Out to the mall. I felt so bad for the Easter Bunny at the mall. What happened? Nobody was there taking pictures. Well, why yeah. <laughs> he was just standing there. I felt so bad. What mall were you? Park Place. Oh. I went on Sunday. El lunes va a venir. Oh no. No. Pregúntale si lo quieres ya o, o si se quiere esperar. I'm sure we got all those edges. And we're gonna bake them for one minute now. I'm sure it's up all the way. And we're gonna finish, of course, with cotton candy cuticle oil. Keep them nice and moisturized. What are we talking about right now, Bubba? Hmm. I forgot. The Easter Bunny? Oh yeah, at the <laughs> mall. Thank you for reminding me. I felt so bad because the bunny was just there, you know, twirling his thumbs. No kids? I think the whole time I was there, maybe for like a good, maybe at least 40 minutes, uh, just one, maybe one picture. But people don't go to the mall like they used to anymore now. No, because, you know, even though this is vicious, Ducey, you know, raised the, the ban on masks and stuff, most people were smart as go there. But I think even before uh, Rona came over, malls were already on a decline. You go to the mall. It's, like to see, it, it's sad to see that part of America just kind of disappear. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, back in the day. It was such a big deal to go to the mall. Not a big deal, but it was not, like a fun thing to do on a Sunday or a Saturday. You go to the mall. You, you go to the mall. Even if and go people watch too. Go see what everyone's wearing and everything. Get yourself an orange Julius. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, yes. Orange Julius was the, was the thing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Gosh, can you imagine how many calories are on one of those? Make sure they're nice and dry all the way. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. She is ready. Yes, I am. And then remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, then we apply our cotton candy cuticle oil. Ten seconds, right? Ten seconds. And there we have it, short and simple. Simple. <laughs> short and sweet. Adorbs. What was it? Swimple. Swimple. Short and simple together. Swimple. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live video. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo tutorial. And we will see you guys in the next live video live from Texas.